the shoulder. Like um, millions of Americans, Kyle Miller um, struggles like with constant down. pain. Stiffness, soreness, and discomfort in my back. Mm -hmm. And actually, for the first time ever, um, my back totally went out. This chronic pain is the kind that lasts three months or more. It could be chronic headaches, it could be chronic pelvic pain, which is common in both men and women. It could become low back pain, which is probably the most common. A complicating factor is that many doctors and patients are turning away from traditional treatment methods. But really we look, look at surgery as a last resort because it's not amazingly effective. A lot of people don't get relief from surgery. It's a lot to go through to have surgery. Anti-inflammatory medication called NSAIDs like ibuprofen and naproxen can also cause problems. Taking those too much increases risk of heart disease, definitely increases the risk of, pe of peptic ulcer disease, causes other problems in the digestive tract. And there are also the many issues with prescription pain pills. Especially now with the opioid epidemic and not wanting to use opioid pain medicines, not wanting to get people addicted to pain medicines, there's a real push on what else we can do. That's why doctors are searching for new treatment options, such as acupuncture. It's very well respected for certain conditions, including back pain and many chronic painful conditions. There are very good studies proving its benefit. Some people think it helps highlight areas in the brain that decrease the sense of pain. There are lots of different hypotheses about why it works, but it has been proven to help. In fact, the American College of Physicians now backs acupuncture for treating low back pain. What I would like to recommend for all my new patients is to try it first before you do anything else because it doesn't have any long-term negative side effects. I like to recommend at least five sessions for you to see some changes. And after five, you'll know if it's gonna work for you or not. Patients of acupuncturist Grace Sue's generally undergo 30-minute sessions once or twice a week. It helps by increasing circulation simply. And research shows that it increases something called nitric oxide, which has been shown to decrease inflammation, lower blood pressure, help with pain management. And yes, it means needles, but they're super thin. You barely feel anything. You definitely don't feel them really being inserted. It's not painful. And then, you know, you relax with the needles in for a few moments and it, it either feels like nothing or honestly, it puts me to sleep. She only inserts them into the skin's top layer. Very superficial, so we never go near the nerve or at the nerve. Although most of Grace's patients want pain relief, she also treats digestive problems, hormone issues, you name it. Believe it or not, acupuncture is often used for cosmetic purposes. I'm getting an anti-aging treatment that smooths fine lines and wrinkles. It's great for people who don't want to use injectables like Botox. Grace often treats people struggling with substance abuse, including sugar addiction. What I focus on is calming the nervous system down, relaxing the body, helping them sleep. Because if you are sleeping really well the night before, then the next day, your blood sugar is more managed, you're more relaxed, and therefore you'll make better choices. Whereas acupuncture pierces the skin in strategic spots, acupressure involves applying force to those areas. Massaging this part of the hand treats red, puffy eyes. Near the wrist, vomiting and nausea. And the middle of the forehead, stress and headaches. So whether you take matters into your own hands or go to a professional, stimulating the body's natural ability to fight pain and other problems could help you avoid issues from other treatments. Lori Johnson, CBN News.